is Saturday. I think it's about 7.30 or so. Uh, it's cold out. Spring was here and then winter returned yesterday. So we got six inches officially, believe it or not. A lot of it's melting already. Uh, but by tomorrow, well, probably by Monday, it'll be all gone. So today I have estimates. I'm gonna do a few estimates. I might take you along for one of those. And then later I'm gonna go to the home show. So the Realtors Home and Garden Show is going on right now. That's the show that I'm usually in, but I'm not this year for the first time in like 20 years. Mike's over there and I think uh, Daryl Jr. might be there when we're there. I'm not even sure. He said he's doing like a meet up or something like that. Um, I'm not going there for that, but I might run into those guys as well. So we're gonna do that. I'll probably take one of my kids with me to the show. I'm not sure which one, maybe junior style. He's on spring break, so maybe he's available, we'll see. But I'm gonna take you along for the day and then uh, we'll just see what happens. First, I'm gonna go get this little work clothes workout in and then uh, we'll get some coffee and then move on with our day. At the gym, all ready to work out. And they have access control in the door because it's a 24 hour gym. And the key fob they gave me, it is not working at all. So. I'm not working out this morning, so I guess I'll just grab some coffee. Oh, last bit of house fun. Interesting, somebody drove in here, but I don't know who or why. There's tracks in the snow, but there was no reason for anybody to come in here. interesting i guess i could check the cameras that's what i have cameras for they didn't even get out of their vehicle they just drove in did a circle and drove right back out anyhow i came to the yard here i have time to kill now about a half an hour to kill so i just came over here to think a little bit you guys that own businesses and stuff and even if you don't sometimes it's it's good just to take some time and think so the first thing that's going to happen is, the very first thing is we need erosion control. So the erosion control is limited just to the back of the property because the whole property slopes this way. So they're only making us put silt fence or sock down the back of the property, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's the very first thing. After that, I have to figure out from a surveyor exactly where the driveway approach is going to be. I'll remove the concrete fence sections, wherever that's gonna be. And then I need a culvert pipe, put a culvert pipe in, stone, put an approach in so we can make an entrance into the property. We gotta put an entrance in right away because where we're coming in now, there's gonna be a pond all the way across. So you're not gonna be able to drive from this side of the property to that side anymore. That's gonna be cut off completely. Uh, it's going to, this property's gonna be cut right in half by the retention pond. So we're gonna do the entrance, culvert pipe, and then uh, bring stone in and make a road. And then the excavator and plumber want to come in and then they're going to dig the pond. They got to do all the storm sewers. It's, there's a lot, they have a lot of work to do. Hopefully my friends from Virginia can come and help pour that. They're going to bring a laser screed. We're going to knock it out in one pour. It's 10,000 square feet. It's not that big of a deal to them. To us, it would be a, a big deal because we're just not used to the you know big pours like that, floor pours. So then once that's done, the builder wants to get like, he wants to get right on the building. One year ago, pretty much, pretty much right now, exactly one year ago, uh, I stood over by that excavator and I announced that it was my intention to purchase this land. All right, let's go. We'll go to do this estimate out in Waukesha. It was so much nicer last weekend when there was no snow and it wasn't this cold. But you got to keep doing estimates. What are you going to do? All right, we're running out to Pewaukee, Wisconsin to do a bid on, I think, a patio. But I'm not sure. I hope it's the driveway. It's a big driveway, big horseshoe driveway. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So what are we looking at? Just the front? Yeah, we want to eliminate this stuff. So we'll have to extend there. And uh, coat this, however you guys do it, and even if you can do that, I don't know. 
far you can go. We can overlay and stamp it. I can do a crack repair, but I'll never guarantee that that crack doesn't reappear at the surface. Yeah. There's no warranty on that. So I can chase it out and do a repair on the crack. It's been the same for decades. Yeah, it may not reappear, but I just can't warranty it. That's all. Yeah. I mean, everything seems to be slant. It is, those. yeah. It's. We can raise this up. Uh, you got nine inches there. We could raise it all the way up probably to six. It'd be nice if it wasn't such an abrupt stop. Yeah. yeah, we can raise it up and get the water to flow that way. It's just settled down here. Yeah. I mean, it's huge. Nine inches is a big, big step. <laughs> 10 by 10. Ten by ten or ten by thirteen. The two options. Probably use the MT one hundred here. Keep it clean. Come up the driveway. So I'm gonna write this bid and give it to them. They're talking about when can you get it done. So, and they also use the words price is not really a, an issue. Obviously, it is an issue, even when people say that. But as long as it's reasonable, there's a pretty good chance they'll just sign for it maybe not today but i'll probably hear back from them this one looks pretty good these are like good little filler jobs you know if you just have a small pour in the morning and then you really could do something in the afternoon you could come over here overlay this set up the little front patio area and have it ready for the next day it's really convenient to have different size jobs so you can kind of fit everything together like a big puzzle to kind of fill the schedule it's interesting they showed me a picture of the stamp that they want on the front patio from the internet and i just got that coming from decocrete it's a castle stone stamp i've never had that exact stamp or anything really really similar to it and it was pretty cool that that's what they wanted and i was like man i just ordered that and i'm about to pick it up um at tuesday monday or tuesday uh, the guy's gonna come and deliver it or i'll go pick it up i'll show you guys that brand new stamp i got Oh, that was quick. That was quick. Guy. All right, so they signed on the spot. This job is in the books and earning interest. So we're off to the next one. I'm not sure what that one is either, but it's always good. People are still willing to write checks and spend money, even though it's an election year, which sometimes has a sometimes has a really um, negative effect on sales. So far, at least early in this year. It's going really good. So let's go to the next one. This is it. It's probably for a driveway. They just have gravel right now. It looks like they've had gravel forever. So we'll go check it out. It's got to be the driveway. That's got to be a real pain. Muddy cars, icy, hard to shovel. Yeah, he really needs a driveway. Oh, the garage is so low though. That's gonna be a problem. It's all going like this. So I left him a vid, he didn't wanna be on the internet. Uh, but the issue there is just what I said when I first walked up. The elevation of the garage is so low. Uh, where are we gonna go with the water? So I wrote him a bid, I wrote it high, and I told him that if he wants to do it, I'd have to come back first with a laser transit, shoot the heights, and he'd have to accept uh, the elevations of the driveway. Uh, because draining the water on that property is a trick so i would explain it to him and then if he says yes then it would be on him uh, because it's just a difficult situation up there all right on to the next one okay last one of the day maybe for a driveway his driveway is not great A lot of patchy patchy. So you want a price for the rest of the driveway too? Just out of curiosity even? Yeah, I guess we'll see what Okay. This, I, I mean, I'd, I'd rather save the money, I guess. And yeah, of course. Do yeah. Money. Yeah, you don't have to do this. It's fine. So this one here, partial driveway, the upper driveway and the garage floor. He would prefer to leave the last six panels alone if possible just to save some money because they're not really bad but he did want a price on them so i'll write this bid real quick and then see what he says yeah. and then the upper driveway 
so you're there for those two items together okay and then if you did want to do the bottom so that's pretty much everything if you do decide to do it like i said we're as of today we're june july slash july okay um and then we require 10 percent deposit the rest is due at completion all right just finished up that one i'm not going to put him on the video either it went good uh that one was hard to read some some people you just can't read and he i just didn't really have a feel for that guy really if he's you know i think he's serious um you know but we'll see what happens anyways i talked to junior style i'm heading home i'm gonna pick him up and we're gonna head to the home show mike will be there we'll say hi to him all right we're leaving just junior style daniel's under the weather some of my other kids are under the weather too yeah, you can get all right uh, we thank you i've never been on this side of the show i've always been an exhibitor always i was just here with daryl jr for the car show did you watch that video no no they had really nice cars here like all restored custom cars super nice super expensive Hello. hi too i want to walk around though they have a lot of good snacks here they do. There's a lot of good snacks. Guys. Good, how are you? You got the pink hat? He's got the pink hat. I do. See? Snacks already. Bam, we just got here. Yeah, we uh no artificial syrups or sweeteners. It's just honey to bind it, so nice and clean and natural. Those is gonna tidy up. Caramel apple. It's good. It's gluten-free, sugar-free, and everything else he just said. Mmm, snacks. Told you. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to have that. That's it's pickle barbecue sauce. That's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Pickle barbecue sauce. I'm getting some of that. That is really good. Because I like pickles. Can I get a pickle barbecue sauce? You can sure can. This is the pickle bar. It tastes really good. Thank you. What is that? Oh, pickle <laughs> cotton candy? No, not today. Thank there you, you are. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's not too bad. It's, it's pretty busy. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Good thing we don't have Daniel here. <laughs> He's like, where's the credit card? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he would love that. <laughs> he would ask the guy if he has a cart. <laughs> no, not hot at all. Smoking. Mm. Okay. It's like summer I sauce in a bottle. I actually did not like that at all. Did you? I thought it was good. Really? I like it spicy. But these normal like It just tasted like like a mouthful of smoke. It didn't have like a lot of flavor to it, just smoke flavor, and that's it. See, I told you though, there's snacks everywhere. A lot of people come here just for snacks and candy. <laughs> they do, especially the older people. All the free handouts, and they always carry bags so they can load up. Cutco. Well, we have some of those. They're pretty good. We've had some since we got married, over 20 years old. No booth, I'm on the other side now. Oh, you are? I'm just walking now. Who's bringing it? At least there's some traffic coming through yeah, here. Yeah, no, yesterday was terrible, but... Yeah, last year wasn't good. No. Every year's worse than the year before. Well... Just the way it is. That's what I've been noticing since COVID. He's right, though. It has just been dwindling and dwindling. It's not terrible right now, though. They're all $10. Here's some Oakleys right here. $10 Oakleys. Yep, looking good. All oh, the pit vipers. We'll see how many of my competitors I run into here. I don't know how many are here. Usually there's like three or four. 
super serious setup for such terrible audio. Well, we're not in the right spot. We're behind the speakers. Oh, How can you tell? Over there, I was listening. Oh. I don't think you really need all that just for a wireless no. mic. No, you don't. Could use an app on your phone, probably. Oh, more candy for you. Yeah. I like candy. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm officially. Dude, you're a big dude. Oh, thank you. Holy guard. Yeah, but you're more you're more handsome than I am, so <laughs> it's a wash. <laughs> That's what I just had done. It's super cool. Four fifty. Four hundred fifty dollars. That probably took a long time to make. That's why. The eagle? Yeah, that is really cool, actually. Look at how fragile. If you tip that over one time, say goodbye to the wings. You have to be really careful with that. Maybe when, like, when I have a studio or something, I'll get really nice decorations. Because basically, you just set it all up. You never touch anything. You just go in, record, out, and leave everything alone. That's what a guy told me, a professional. He's like, when you have a professional studio, you don't mess with it. Who's this guy? Oh man, this guy is a hack. I seen him on the internet. Keep uh, it up uh, with the best at CCS. How's it going? You know, good. How you doing? You guys start working? No, next Just year about? we'll start removing some decks and then hopefully April 1st. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys do nice work. Keep it up. Yeah, thanks man. Just don't take too much of the market share. Oh yeah. Thank you. Right, man. There's <laughs> enough for everyone. <laughs> There's plenty. Have a good one, yeah, man. see you, man. These are so good. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you. All right, you guys have a nice night. Yep. That thing asks you for a tip? Yeah. <laughs> Every time. What did they do? <laughs> get it out of the thing and give it to you. I get so irritated with the tipping stuff. <laughs> Everything I buy. You want a tip, and then the person's there looking at you. I'm like, stop looking at me. You shouldn't even be asking me for this. <laughs> well, I'm serious. Wherever they're employed, their wage should cover their job. It shouldn't be my responsibility to cover part of their wage. They're not doing anything special for me. They're just doing their job. It's different for like servers and restaurants. They're actually taking care of you, and they can do that to different degrees, and, and they earn it, you know? But if you're just doing your job, you're doing your job. Yeah, they're trying to sell them, but mostly people just take advantage of them in the show. Obviously, <laughs> as you can see. I'm sure they're all potential buyers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. The water roar? Give it a shot. See how it works. Jump on that, baby. Look at that thing. Remember when we used to row at the gym together? Huh? Yeah. That was cool. You're probably not even gonna be able to make a wake. Yeah, yeah right. How does it feel? Smooth? Yeah? I wonder if you put your underwear in there, you could wash them up quick. I think it would work good. <laughs> Does it have a little door on the top? That would be a good morning routine. Put all your clothes in from yesterday <laughs> in the morning, and then work out, and then take a shower, and then they're all clean. That's a billion dollar idea. These people look so happy in these chairs, though. Look we'll at oh, yeah, So just, happy. Just email me the pricing. Look at who I spy over there. Behind the sunflower. You see him? Wow. There he is. Daryl Jr. How are ya? Pretty good, man. That's good. How was your meetup? Was it popping? We got here. We didn't see anyone. Oh, man. So nobody showed for the meetup? Still fine, though. Man. Uh, That's disappointing. Oh, really yeah. Luckily we see Mike right away. Next time. Next time. 
great. Next time. Yeah. Well, maybe you can come to the meetup with me next time in the summer. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Hey, yeah. my dad's walking on somewhere. Oh, your dad? Yeah, hey, he didn't sing. I came here to see you, not him. Come on, you gotta say that. <laughs> how you been? Good, how are you? Good. All right, we're gonna keep walking, Junior. All right, thank you. All right, see you, ma'am. What's up? Best in the business, right there. <laughs> She's gonna hire you for yeah. sure, for sure. How we doing? Good, man, you're really separated from everybody. Yeah. What are you guys doing here? She's walking around. Yeah. I've know? never had the opportunity in my whole life to walk around yeah. the show and not, you know, have to work the show. Yeah. So it's kind of nice. You guys run into Junior? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, he came in like a raging bull. I seen him walk in over there. Yeah. And it's just like he knew exactly where I was and he just came stomping over here. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> so, that last year was my best year I ever had. So. Yeah, that's good. All right. Good, good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. Yep, see you later. Time. Thanks. Indoor, outdoor. You can still feel the heat out here. Feel it? It's actually surprising. So at the Farrell show, the guy that owns Farrell, he has a meeting with a pre -meet, a pre show meeting with all the vendors. And he lays down the rules about how they're gonna be at their booth. They're not allowed to leave their booth, no phones, and they can never sit down. They always have to be standing and like engaging the whole time. Cause when you walk around here, a lot of people are on their phones. A lot of people aren't even in their booths. These are actually really good. I do these when I train triceps. I don't know what you call them. You bring them out and then spread them at the end. I usually hold them for a second at the end, like that. All around the pond, they won't allow me to plant grass. No regular grass. You can't do any maintained turf around the pond. For a whole big area around the pond I have to do it's called no mow fescue so it's grass it just looks like it's wildly overgrown grass it looks terrible and that's all they'll let me plant you can't mow it they don't allow you to mow it if I came home from work and jump, jumped in the hot tub can you imagine all the powdered <laughs> right, relief right after stamping yeah <laughs> it's all black floating in here. <laughs> on the top mom would come out and she'd be like what is this it would look so disgusting you couldn't even see through the water Oh, black. <laughs> it all, Clog it up the pumps. It looks all clear and you turn on the pumps, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think a hot tub is for me. I would, have, I would have to shower three times before I got in the hot tub. And by then I wouldn't even want to go in the hot tub. This is a big one. Man. Wait, is this... I think this is one you can swim in. Where it shoots and you can like swim like continuously. They call it like a eternity pool or something like that. Oh, endless swimming pool. Endless pool, that's what this is, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can swim and... Yeah, yeah, or you can sit. It's a kind of like dual purpose. I bet you this thing costs a lot. Yeah, I think they're like 20, 30,000. No diving. For people with no brains, <laughs> they need a sign. Somebody would dive in there. Can I get a large Diet Coke with just a little bit of ice? Is this the company we use? I think it is, right? We had Mosquito Joe and he was... So we switched over to you guys. So this is a 4th of July pattern. I'll show you guys what to see. Oh, sure. Go ahead. So it's got, you got your different animations, right? Now that's too fast. That great. Slow it down. Right? You can create your own patterns. Every LED is addressable. That's cool. Here's some of the ones they have pre programmed. Everybody needs Barbie, Christmas, every holiday, all your NFL, NBA, MLB teams. Oh, I think you just sold them. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. It is cool. So you can do like two on, five off. You, know, you can so do you, anything almost. Yeah, yeah. You can do anything. Ooh, that's hotty, hotty. That's super hot. I'm going in. Uh, hot. 
160. Oh, turn it off. Make it hotter. Is it going off? Ooh, 165, I think. That's max. I want mine to like 350, like off. Oh, maybe. okay. It'd be like a turkey <laughs> on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. How long do you think it's going to take to start getting beads of sweat on your forehead? I don't know, but I'm leaving before <laughs> then. <laughs> Sorry. But imagine if you were super cold outside, like shoveling, and then you came in and then you had this. That would feel so good. Super good. I would text mom and be like, turn it on to 165. I'm almost home. <laughs> They'll be able All to right, to this is this is kidding. Yeah, no, I got it. Look, like, look at my forehead. It's popping right there. No, See it? I'm going. Yeah. Yes, I'm sweating officially. That didn't take long. Only like three minutes. Oh, jewelry clearing. Here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I, kidding. I, I think you're cleaning this out. You left it in the cleaner spot. We said that maybe if you put it in there, it would just dissolve it. It would be gone. You would wonder where it went. That, that could be. you have your Rolex? I clean that. Uh, no, so no Rolex today. Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Everybody always looks so happy in these. You should try one. Go try one. It's super nice. Are they all the same? Which one's the best out of these four? That one that you're not gonna fit properly in there. Uh, oh, is it? Super nice. You look just as happy as everybody else, though. What is it doing? Massaging your back right now? It's doing a lot of things. He said, I'm too big for the chairs. The one Ryan's in is 13K, so it's not a cheap chair, but it does look like it makes you happy. We have a, uh, what is it called, Tempur-Pedic, the memory foam, and we've had it for a long, long time, and it's still good. What's that? I don't know, maybe. What's the deal with the purple mattresses? I see these advertised a lot. The purple is just the technology. Um, this is the structure? Yeah, it's gel matrix. Um, they've been making it years for Striker Medical for like your burn unit victims, bed sores. It's yeah. Just, it's column buckling technology. When you press on it, nothing reduces pressure greater or stays cooler than the gel matrix. Oh, okay. Um, so the columns go down wherever weight's applied. What's unique about it, though, is when you distribute your weight across the columns yeah. and lay down, it's firm. So it gives you the support you need, you know, but it always goes down. So like hips and shoulders, wherever you go down, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be pressing up. It's always touching you. That's so, cool. So people love it. You're all done? I have one of those pads. You do? Yeah, I use it for the Victor Conference in my cello chair. The purple? Yeah. Does yours have Just this the gel? The chair pad is like 70 or 80 or 90 dollars. Does yours have this gel matrix? Oh yeah. It does? Yeah, it has it's double sided actually. It has different pattern on one side or the other depending on how big you are. Do you got Packers colors? Yeah, I got Packers colors. Wisconsin badgers? Even the the head is way different shape than everything. But I, I don't know. It's easy money. Did he just say <laughs> what I think he said? Easy money. There you go. Well, cool. Good luck with the business. See you guys Thank later. You. Yep. What's that? What are you recording? I do social media. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is really different. Oh, hey, I watch your videos all the time. All the time. My wife's like, are well, you thank you. that again? I'm doing a job coming up for a guy. He's got a full-size pond in his backyard. I mean, it's like this kind of stuff. It's ridiculous. But he's got money. He does all the events and event planning. And he has big contracts. He did the Super Bowl. He does the parties and stuff for the players. He does sound and lights. He's big time. 
just about to the end. They have a little bubble so the dog can look out. That's cool. Tax breaks for solar? How does that work, like in a nutshell? 30% off the cost is a federal tax credit. Oh, okay, so 30% off. So do you jack it up 30% to begin? Tell me the truth. Come on. Man, nice floors. I watch all your videos. Thank you. Well, I don't do coatings, so nice. we're not competitors. Cool. Have a good one, man. Yeah, you too. All right, see you later. How's it going? Pretty good. Oh, Tough Shed. Yeah, I talked yeah. to you. Talked to you before. Yep. How's the Tough Shed business? It's pretty good. Made, made some sales, got some really good leads. That's good. So we got some that'll probably close within the next week or so. Oh, that's good. Keep selling the sheds. Yeah. Look at concrete hey, guys. There you go. How's it going? Hey, Mr. Uh, himself. Yup. You guys ready for a new season? We're ready to start our season. Yeah. yeah. We're brand new outfit, so What's that? We're a brand new uh, uh, outfit. This brand year. new business? So you're my competition? Yeah. Yeah. You, we run huh. from the same. Probably got some of your pictures in here. You yeah, better, <laughs> better not. <laughs> better not. So, well, good luck, man. Yeah, so you sure. get concrete landscape solutions. Yeah. Are you doing walls and landscaping too then? More hardscape. Nice, nice. What's your name? I'm Chan. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. Good luck. I hope you guys do great. Thank you. It's my son, Van. Nice, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, I've been. It's my I've son, been Ryan. Ryan. I've been doing this for 30 plus years. Yeah. He's 20, and he approached me and said, We're already, you know, you know how to do all this stuff. We can sit yep. for somebody else. Let's just do it. Yeah. It's easy money. Yeah. yeah, get to it. <laughs> That's what they all say. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. All right see you later. Guy. Yeah, it's good to meet you, man. Yeah, all right. <laughs> if you ever need anything, I get get. I put my number in your phone. Can you get it open? If you ever need to rent anything, or you need any okay. advice or help or yeah. whatever, if you ever need to reach out for anything, you'll have my number at least. What do you got? Gutter guard. Gutter guard. Gutter protection. Roof max. Extend the life your roof five to fifteen years. What's roof max? Is that a roof max? Is, um, is it a coating you guys food, are doing? Food grade oil. Let me spray on your roof. Would you meet your roof? Is it 10W30? No. Oh. It's non toxic. So it just helps to preserve the roof for just a little bit longer. Maybe if you don't want to replace it quite yet, right? Yeah, extended five years, guaranteed. Yeah. On okay. First application. If oh, there you, it is. He's spraying yeah. it. There he goes. He's got like nice like khaki type pants with a polo. Yeah. It's is all about the look. Yeah. It's not so much about the products. How yeah, the guy looks. Yeah, exactly. He's got his hard hat on. Brand new hard hat. You never know what's going to fall on look your at head those, when you're on top of the Look at those new gloves. <laughs> all right, thanks, man. Yeah, that'll be all right. Have a great a weekend. Show. Yeah, you thank too. you. That'll be well, I would say that was profitable just for the pickle barbecue sauce. That's what I say. I just can't make all right, we decided to go to Tsukasa for dinner, just Ryan and I junior style i was just reading some comments and somebody said how lazy i was because i missed an upload yep my whole life marked by laziness it's pretty obvious really when you think about it i should have named my company lazy style very lazy what do you think i should do about my addiction to laziness do you have any tips or tricks Probably, probably take some more naps. <laughs> it really helps boost your uh, energy. Energy level, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power naps. They're Man. called that for a reason. I like this line of thinking. Yeah, probably take a time lapse too. Of the nap? Yeah. Hmm. And upload that. Or maybe you could even do it live. A live <laughs> nap. <laughs> yeah. That would be live really cool. <laughs> People right, would guys, be <laughs> you just... wake up and there's. 50,000 people watching. <laughs> that would be crazy. What if it was popping? <laughs> Man. I could start a new I could start a new website. Oh would, no. Eric, yes. would, Eric would have a live every day then. No, I would call it only sleep. That would be perfect. You just get to watch other people sleep. <laughs> that would be crazy. Only sleep. I could change how America <laughs> thinks about sleep. Mm. You can probably talk to your business manager about that <laughs> idea first. Drop a comment below if you want to watch me sleep live. <laughs> Somebody will leave a comment. 
for sure. All right, we're here again. I'm not gonna video much of this. <laughs> so look at this beauty once again. Mmm. Mmm. No, big ray. I don't think you can sell it on your website and with him though, because then you're basically competing against each other. It's like either or. It's not competing though, because it's the you keep the price the same. That's like Apple Store selling Apple and Walmart selling Apple. Well, yeah, I know it's exactly the same. But I was talking to another guy that sells tools, and he said they don't really like that. Super delicious Sucasa, best Mexican restaurant around. No, he doesn't give me free food or any discounts or anything like that. I just love the restaurant. Super good place. And the guys there, the owner, Jorge, and then his two sons, uh, Luis. I forgot the other uh, guy's name. Super, super cool people, though. So we got to go to McDonald's and get chocolate shakes for all the girls. And uh, what is a chicken? What did I say? triple cone for you no chicken sandwich for a mick chicken for daniel man i haven't been to mcdonald's in so long i couldn't even remember what the chicken sandwich was called oh yeah it's open till 11. stop it here i'm passing I, oh okay why because you're a different generation yeah okay yeah. you're the ipad generation no no no. Is that what they wanted? No, they want chocolate shakes. Four of them. No smalls. No. <laughs> I might want one too, actually. Last time I ordered at one of these, it took them super long to get my order. It was like 20 minutes, and finally I went up there, and they were like, well, what did you get? I was like, what do you mean? What's the purpose of this if you don't even know what I got? We need that old McDonald's bag with Ronald McDonald and the Hamburglar. You don't remember any of that. I think there was a big purple guy too. There was like a big purple guy. Oh, Grimace. It worked. Grimace. Like, I don't even know what was that thing. <laughs> Grimace. I mean, the Hamburglar was obvious. He stole the burgers. Ronald McDonald was like the mascot. But Grimace was like nothing. He was just like a purple blob. <laughs> I think Barney stole his style too. You know Barney? We should ask him if their ice cream machine is operational. <laughs> probably isn't. No, probably it's not. I guess one of the reasons why the ice cream machine is always broken is because McDonald's can't hire their own service people to service it. There's a contract that the manufacturer of the ice cream machines can only use their contractors to come and fix it they're service people so mcdonald's has to call them and who knows where they are in the country they have to like schedule it and they have to come here and fix it it's it's legally binding contract they can't just have a service person fix it if it breaks they just can't touch it there's actually a law right now going through that would um erase that that would allow mcdonald's to fix it themselves with their own guys it's a big deal going through congress it's priority yeah it is very that priority. shows you where the country is mm -hmm. hey. country's about to collapse in the civil war and we're worried about the ice cream machine at <laughs> mcdonald's uh, the machine unfortunately stopped working what'd you say it's coming out slow and it's only the vanilla that's coming out of it oh the ice cream machine is broken yeah. Man, I knew it was gonna. Hey, I knew it was gonna be that way. Day. We like to tell people to come and get four large ones and all that. Man, we were just and talking I'm about that. Ain't much more I can do, man. This, I, said, I, I tried, and it's just. We'll go to 52s. We'll go to 52s. It's right there on the block. Look it up. What's on your shoulder? Is that leather? Wow. Did you get that from Goodwill? Yeah. You did really. Did you? No? Yep. But it was new. It was new at Goodwill? They, they had a lot of these, yeah. Oh, they must have got a deal on them. All right, we stopped at B-52s on our hunt for four chocolate shakes. I know they got it here. And these will taste better, too. 
five chocolate shakes, small. Very small. Not very small, just small. We have the big one, that's it, we have one size. Oh, one size? Okay, five big ones. We went to McDonald's, and guess what? Ice cream machine was broken. Can you believe it? That's why we came here for the shakes. Yeah. Looking good, man. Super good. Appreciate it. Thank you. You want to hold those? Why does Daniel want to make chicken at 8.30 at night? It's past his bedtime. The CEO is changing his ways. Maybe he's Literally stressed. bread with fake chicken. It's not fake chicken. It's real chicken. Oh. Well, it's chicken parts like pressed into a patty. Yeah. Yeah. Like chicken brains and wings. <laughs> well, chicken's chicken. <laughs> Here's everything. Here's wood, Thank you. McChicken, shakes, everything's here for you. Thank you. Thank Nothing you. for Miss Annie though. She doesn't deserve anything. Why? Because she's just naughty. Alright, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Adios. Adios.